Hi, today is Wednesday, October 14th. We are in our third week of fasting and our third day of no or limited carbs. We have three tiers that you can join us with. The first tier being no carbs all week. Tier two being one portion of carbs a day and tier three being two portions of carbs a day. I really encourage you to be a part of us in this journey together. It's a, a critical time in our nation where we need to seek God's face and, and kill our flesh to hear what he has to say. Um, so I encourage you to be a part. Um, our first week of fasting was no desserts. Uh, our second week was water only and now it's no carbs or bread. Uh, that was the one that's uh, touching my heart a little bit right now. I like to make um, some sourdough bread and so this week I choose to lay that aside and not eat it. Um, but I just thank you guys for being part of this journey with us as a freedom family that we can unite together and really seek God for our country and our nation. Um, so today I want to read uh, John 6 31 and it says, Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And that really touched my heart because during this fast, you are killing your flesh. And each week I like to um, associate what we're giving up as the Lord feeling. So week one, I took it as God is his sweet spirit is satisfying me. I don't need it from sweets. I just need it from the Lord. Week two with water only, I take it as God is satisfying, satisfying my soul. He is my refreshing. And today, and then this week, I see it as God is my sustenance. He is fulfilling everything in me that I need. And with carbs, it gives you energy. It gives you that source to, to kind of keep on going. And I'm looking to the Lord this week to do that for me. He is our daily bread. And in this scripture, it was so fun because it says, he provided bread from heaven and how much more does he give that to us daily it may not literally look like you know it falling from the sky on the ground but it he gives it to us in his word through his spirit and how satisfying is that that when we turn to the lord when we look to him that he is everything that we could possibly need and uh even though fasting can be challenging at times and you're like man what I would give for you fill in the blank, it shows us how much more we need to be dependent upon God, how much more that we need to look to him to satisfy us, how much more have we put him in a box to not let him satisfy us. Um, so I like to look at the Lord this week as a big, beautiful loaf of sourdough that he gives me that, um, comfort that he gives me that satisfaction um, that he gives me everything that i need and so during this time um, in our country our nation with everything going on he is all that we need and sometimes it's easy to say that and it's easily to forget it but i can encourage you today to really self-evaluate is he all is he all that i need is he satisfying me and if he's not I encourage you to take a time to quiet yourself before him and be like, Lord, satisfy me. And I guarantee he will. He always does. Quieting our mind and focusing on him to be our satisfaction is priceless. So I want to pray for you guys today. God, I thank you that you are our daily bread that you bring satisfaction, God. And I pray for everyone watching today, Lord, that you will show them, God, how near you are, God, how satisfying you are, God, that you bring sustenance to their life, Lord, that no one else, that no carb can bring, Father God. So I just thank you for them. I pray blessing over this Wednesday, God. We thank you that you are near, and we call it blessed, Lord. 
in Jesus' name.